Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be working on the 2500 HD. Uh, this spot right here in the front bumper didn't really stand out to me before. My wife pointed it out that it looked like something was missing. So we're going to do something about that. I was going to try to make my own uh, grill insert. But once I started searching on Google, I found that there are plenty of pre-made options out there. So we, I think I got this off of uh, eBay, if I'm not mistaken. This is actually pretty thick. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's actual eighth inch. I thought it was going to be pretty flimsy. So I probably don't need to make a better version of it once we get it set up. From what I can tell, you're just going to take some clips, some bolt clips, slide them over some existing holes on both sides of this opening, use the brackets that they supply, and they have a welded nut on them to put on the fastener to hold the grill onto the bracket. Shouldn't be too bad. There are a lot of people out tonight because the weather's getting nice. So you might hear some kids screaming as they go by. So the instructions say that there might be an existing bolt in these holes that are here. There are no bolts in these spots on mine. They want you to take these clips and get them slid over the factory plate in here that already has a hole. That way you can put a fastener through it to hold the bracket. So we'll get these in first. So I got those clips. Here's a clip and here's a clip. There's a hole in this steel plate that's part of the truck that's already there. So what it's telling you to do Take a lock washer, put it on the, I think this is a stainless, you know, there's a stainless bolt that comes with the kit and you're supposed to thread it in to the back of the clip. And you're supposed to leave it loose. So we'll get the other three. And I got one more up here and two on this side. And I have the passenger side bracket on, just loose. There's really only one way to put these on. Looks like the part with the radius on the bottom, on the corner, that is the bottom. So once you get the bolts loosened up enough, oops, sorry. Once you get the bolts loosened up enough, you slide this on and get those tight. And I'm going to fit both of these in dry, or just loose, I mean, to uh, dry fit the grill. Make sure the grill fits in the uh, hole locations of the brackets. The stainless bolts are 7 16 and the finish bolts, the buttonhead bolts for the grill are four millimeter Allen, Allen wrenches. So just get them snug. Doesn't say what's front or back on this. It does have a little bit of a curve to it. So this must be the back side. Just seeing if the holes line up pretty decent before I crank down the brackets. Looks pretty good. I don't think you're supposed to put any more of a bend on this, but it could probably use it just to follow the line of the bumper here a little bit better. Tighten up my
Now, once these are snug, the grill piece that bolts to these will, will keep them pushed each way. They won't slide in. So grab a black washer and a button head Allen bolt. I think it would look a little better if it had more of a bend to it. That might be something I, once we get this set, maybe I'll attempt bending that. I don't really want to crack the paint, but everything is lining up really nice. Four millimeter Allen, Allen wrench. Sorry if it's getting dark out here and you can't see. Kind of a last minute deal here before we go in for the night. I'm just getting them snug, but not tightening because I don't, I don't know if I need to move this. It actually centered itself really, really well. I can see a little bit more of this bracket sticking out on that side. I'm just trying to split the difference. Snug it up. I notice when I tighten these bolts, this actually starts to bulge out a little bit because these brackets are angled just a little bit. So it's actually bulging this out to match the front of the truck a little better. Not sure if that's how it was intended or. My wife is gonna love this. Now I don't have to hear about this front bumper looking like it's missing something. Yeah, when you tighten these bolts, it brings this grill out really nice with the bumper line. So it's definitely, they made these brackets so it would put a nice bend on that. That is a good looking piece right there. I wasn't sure if I should go with a like a chrome or a bright finish or brushed or black or gray or blue. I think we'll leave it black for now. Finishes it off nice, just a nice piece there. We might have some other mods for the truck coming up. I like the idea of the amp research power steps. I used to have the factory power steps on my 07 Avalanche and uh, these factory ones just they don't stick out far enough really and they're too high and I like the idea of them tucking underneath the truck. The front windows probably gonna go with some 35% tint just get those a little bit darker I don't want them really dark just cause sometimes we're getting into a campground when it's dark outside and it'll be a little bit harder to park the camper if I can't see up my own windows. And um, maybe some stereo upgrades, but we'll get into that later. But check out the grill, I'll put the link below. 
Thanks for watching.